Good morning, Unitic here. It is September 1st, starting my second month on the trail, on the road, on the route. I am uh, at a little U.S. Forest Service campground in Cimarron, Colorado, um, getting ready to pack up and head out. Just letting my tent dry a little bit. Got really pretty chilly last night, and uh, we're down by a river, so the dew is really heavy, and my uh, tent got quite a bit of condensation <clears throat> on the fly, so I'm trying to let that dry a little bit. And uh, head up for about a five mile climb on my way to Montrose. I um, left Gunnison yesterday, and I thought I was gonna make it all the way to Montrose, but uh, I was a little worn out, I think, and maybe got a tad dehydrated from the Monarch Pass day um, when I got into Gunnison, and uh, my legs just were hammered, and yesterday was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. It was a bunch of up and down, you know, one and a half mile, two mile climbs, and including going through Black Canyon, which was a really cool place, and I wish I could have taken advantage of checking it out more but uh looks like we've got a thread or something on the on the lens sorry about that um it's a new national park relatively new black canyon was named a national park in 1999 and i had a really steep sweeping descent with uh concrete guardrails um really twisting and semi trucks coming down behind me and i was just focused on trying to make it down alive cars trying to pass me and um, I really couldn't enjoy the scenery. I wish I'd have had time just to stay in the bottom and explore it for a day but and then the climb back up out of it just hammered me. I had to get off the bike and take a break about halfway up and luckily when I got to the top there was a five plus mile you know, really wide open, new road, wide shoulder descent that I could average more than 30 miles an hour for five miles, which kind of saved me because I was pretty worn out. So luckily there's this campground here at Cimarron and uh, stayed here last night. Went to bed really early and hope I'm in a little better shape this morning because now I got to pay for my descent from yesterday, which is always the case, and uh, do a five mile climb this morning, but then I have downhill for the most part into Montrose, about 19 miles away. So I'm a little worn out. Um, I decided to take it easy the next couple of days and back off my schedule by day. Instead of getting into Dolores on Wednesday, I'm gonna get into there on Thursday. And I think I'm gonna stay in Telluride um, on Wednesday. because I'm real excited. I'm gonna do a radio call-in uh, interview with the uh, the Parliament of Wise Owls, with uh, Saul and Andrew and my friend Laura. I'm really looking forward to talking to them, and uh, that'll be available on, uh, on, their show will be available in September, probably fairly early September, so I'm looking forward to that. So weather continues to be great. It's cool in the mornings, good time to ride. I'll probably get into Ridgeway State Park today. Um, just about 42 miles, and that puts me um, at 1,660 miles. So I have about, at the end of the day, just a hair over 1,300 left to go <laughs> and a month to get there. We decided to try and do a celebration at our Pacific Ocean Terminus on Saturday, October 3rd. So shout out to all of the Lyme patients. <laughs> I'm carrying this hat all the way to California, along with my Trek for Truth banner. My niece made me that uh, I had it at the Atlantic Ocean back on April the 18th when we started this odyssey. All you Lyme patients, if you guys can come out, that would be great. Um, my friend Dorothy Leland from LymeDisease.org is gonna put the word out uh, through her networks. When we decide on a exact location, we're talking about Fisherman's War for the Golden Gate, but we may choose a an easier location to get to as long as we can touch the Pacific Ocean, Saturday, October 3rd. So for that, time to climb up five miles and may get the GoPro out and let people hear me huffing and puffing for a few. Unitic out for today.